Good afternoon. Well, first this lunchtime, a business has warned that new recycling rules could wipe out two thirds of its profit and drive drinks producers to use more plastic. Beaver Farm fears it will get a big bill for recycling its glass bottles and has branded the policy environmentally insane. Rachel Royce reports. Glass bottles like these make for attractive packaging. Glass can also be recycled, but there is another reason that Beaver Farms, which makes artisan drinks, uses glass for selling its products to consumers. We bottle in glass because we use real natural ingredients. So we're using this stuff, fresh root ginger for instance, chopped and chopped here and cooked to make our ginger beer. We're using fresh elderflowers to make our elderflower. We're doing infusions of fresh lemons and oranges. And because we use fresh ingredients, we're bottling glass because we don't then need to add chemical preservatives. But from next year, there'll be a big change for the company. New rules being introduced by the government mean that manufacturers will be asked to bear the cost of recycling by local authorities. The cost will be determined by the weight of the packaging, at a rate yet to be determined, but it could be as much as £215 a tonne. Companies like us are now suddenly responsible, out of the blue, for the first time in hundreds and hundreds of years, for all the municipal recycling that goes on in your recycling box at home, which is collected by the bin men. That has a cost to recycle that. For glass, because glass is heavy, the costs are astronomical. The prospected intermediate rate, which is the middle one, which they're guiding us towards, is about two-thirds of my annual profits every year. They're expecting us to just pass that on to consumers as if nothing happens and the consumer pays. So who do the new rules apply to? They apply to companies with a turnover of more than a million pounds, a company that supplies more than 25 tonnes of packaging and that does any packaging at all. They don't apply to charities. Announcing the rules last year, DEFRA said, we remain committed to introducing measures that work for business, local government, the environment and the economy, which deliver sustained change. The policy is designed to improve efficiency by placing responsibility on businesses for the environmental impact of their packaging. The new rules come into force next April. Rachel Royce, BBC East Midlands, today, Leicestershire. Gedlin Borough Council says it's already recovered more than a third of the almost £1 million stolen by a former employee. The authority's former accountant, Alan Doig, was jailed for five years last week for making regular payments to himself over 20 years to fund his gambling addiction. 